What's up? What's up? What's up? This is what's at DC. It's your boy Fadis, aka Love. Well, this episode is kind of a special episode. First time ever I'm be doing right now. I'm doing a special episode. I guess I'm gonna give you a story time episode. And um, first time ever on you know, what's the TV. So, um, all right, my story. Uh, I guess meeting Daniel Bryan. You know, currently the WWE champion, and uh, before he became WWE champion, I met him. Um, uh, I think almost a year ago at a uh, SmackDown Live show uh, in Baltimore. Uh, you can watch my uh, What's Hood uh, Be More for that. Um, he was kind of, I think, I mean, the only one I met so uh, there. And um, I think I missed some other people. I heard, um, I think I heard some fans say uh, uh, Charlotte came by. I think Paige came by. That's why I heard some people say. And uh, I saw, I think I saw Big Cass get out of his car. But uh, at first, because I was just, they, I didn't know, actually know what about the show. Uh, cause I was in Baltimore just to, uh, for an Orioles game, and uh, I was walking down um, downtown Baltimore, and I saw these uh, these trailers and all that. I was like, "Wow!" I looked at it like I go, "Damn, the show!" I saw these trailers part in the parking lot. You know, cause the parking lot is really small. It's a real, real small parking lot. At the uh, well, it was, it was at the right front of the World Farms Arena, cause it's kind of a real small arena though in Baltimore, and I think it's only two levels. Yeah, it's nothing compared to Cap One Arena here in DC. But um, yeah, um, I was, yeah, I was in Baltimore just to uh, watch the Orioles play, even though they got the ass whooped. But and it's funny, I kind of thought about while I was at the Orioles game. Uh, should I go to a SmackDown show? Just in case they get blown out. So, well, I guess all of a sudden, once I was at the Orioles game, the Orioles, you know, they got the ass whipped. <laughs> they gave us, get you uh, gave up ten runs in the first inning. I guess Dylan Bundy, uh, the star pitcher, did uh, have a great game. He gave, I think he gave like at least like three or four home runs in in the entire first inning. I was like, oh my god! And to see something like that at your first Orioles game, and for, plus it was no, it was no one there. It was nobody at that ballpark. I think only when I was there, I think maybe like a hundred people showed up. I mean that park, were, that ballpark was really empty. It was it was really really empty. And um, and I sat up. Uh, I bought the cheapest ticket. It was only fifteen dollars, and uh, so I kind of felt a little disappointed in a way. And so that I left when once Chris uh, Davis, AJ Clutch, <laughs> I think Clutch Davis, that's what we call himself. I think it's called Crush Crush Davis. This is called Crush Davis. Um, hit the home run. So once he hit that home run, so I just you know, I just left the uh, left the ballpark and went on to the Royal Farms Arena. And uh, Royal Farms Arena, really a few. It's like a couple blocks, a couple blocks over. So I ended up walking there. So I ended up showing to the SmackDown show pretty late. I think I think I was only I was I think I was only like I think like half an hour late. Cause the first match I seen there was a Charlotte versus uh, uh, Charlotte versus uh, Peyton Royce. I think for the Money in the Bank contender match for the Money in the Bank ladder match. And uh, the match was yeah, the match was up. It was I. Right. Show was pretty. I thought the show was pretty good. It was good. Okay. I thought it was okay show, but uh, it was great. It was. That was the closest I've set to a wrestling show in a long time. But uh, it was, I, I, don't know, I don't know. I think it was one of the best shows. I think it was one of the best shows I've been to. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I rank it better than uh, I don't 
don't know, the thousands. I don't know. But it was, it was an okay show. But um, get, y'all get to see them. Yeah, and, and um, what's I want to say? Um, I think, yeah, and oh, and speaking of back to Dan Brown for a second. Um, yeah, Dan Brown, he faced off against Rusev. And, um, yeah, this was, you know, Rusev Day, you know, him and Ada English teaming up at the time. Um, we were singing this little Rusev Day song, this intro song and everything. He was saying, ball to war, ball to less. And he was, <laughs> he was walking down with Brian a little bit. And, you know, it was in the vlog. You can see that in the vlog as well. And, um... Yeah, man, me, me and him was real nice. Even though he's a heel now, I don't know if he could, uh, I don't know if he allowed to take selfies now, but he was the guy who was real, real nice. He said, you know, uh, make sure you have your cameras ready if you want to take a picture of your pen, if you want your autograph. So all I got just a selfie with him. So if it was, if it, I mean, if I would have known if they were going to show in Baltimore, I could have bought a card, I could have autographed in a selfie. But I'll get a selfie with him. Not sure right at this, this this episode, and uh, I may show a little clip as well. Um, while you uh, nice to take the subway with, but you seem real nice. Uh, I don't think I said anything. I don't think I. I think I only said what's up to him. I don't know if I shook his. I don't think I shook his hand or anything. I just pretty much took a selfie with him. That's pretty much it. And um, yeah, I said it was at a small park a lot. And what they made fans too outside. I think it was only maybe like 20. I think I was with maybe like 15, 20 people. Probably not that much. But it wasn't that many people outside. So, yeah, I'll say it's a real small arena, real small parking lot. And um, so, um, and I think he also said that um, he cashed his money in the bank in Baltimore we, the first time he did it. I think it was the only time he did money in the bank. And I think it was just the big show, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it was in the same arena. I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, you know, it was great to meet a guy that was out the bit, was out, out the, you know, out of action for like three years. Been the SmackDown GM. And um, he had to resign. And instead, they gave off the page. So she was named just SmackDown GM. The day after she announced her retirement, less than a year ago. Well, right after WrestleMania. So, uh, that's pretty much saying something. So, I wish him the best. I don't know how long he will be champion, but it was great to meet him. Uh, I think, well, one of the last guys I met by far. And I think, well, TJP was the last one I met. Because I met. I haven't met any wrestlers in my life. Yo, I met uh, Johnny, Johnny Nitro. John was, I think he's now. Oh, we go by the Johnny Impact. That's where we go by Johnny Mundo. Where we go by now. And I uh, met him. Uh, I think one of the first wrestlers I've met was him. I met Batista before. I met Sergeant Slaughter. Um, oh, yeah, I met Molina. Johnny Impact and Molina at the time. So Molina's the only female wrestler I met. So uh, she's the only one I met. By far, and who else I met? Oh, I met Ricochet. Um, last, also last year at the XT House show, and Cash is Ono. So that's pretty much it. So uh, I guess I'll wrap it up right here. So this is your boy Fadisa, aka Love. I'm out. Peace. Yeah.